option is pull a uh, compact flash to ID adapter work with the uh, 8000 or the 8800. I do believe so. Alright, so what we're looking at is the uh, MV8000 upside down. <laughs> but, just wanted to show you what it looks like if you got it face down. You got your hard drive, which is going to be on your left side. You got the CD-ROM, and then you've got your floppy. This is on the 8000, not the 8800. Um, and what I did, I took the ID cable, which connects right here, and the Molex connector that's right there, and connected it to an adapter which has a 40 pin connection on it for regular ID and I also got it so it has the 44 pin um, like if it's a two two and a half inch uh, hard drive so you know I was thinking about people that had uh, 8800 so you figure it probably worked either or but what I got is a card compact flash to uh, ID um, converter or whatever um, I'm using the PNY Compact Flash 2 gig stick, so 2 gigs is probably going to show up like 1.8 uh, something because a gigabyte is actually 1,024 megabytes. So. Um, right now I have the MV on, I just kind of turned it on, so we'll check out and see what it does. Actually, I think I'll turn it off and then turn it on and let you see the initial screen that it comes up with. Alright, so I'm about to turn the MV8000 on with this uh, card in it, so y'all can see what, what it actually says. It probably give me the error message, like the disk error message, just like you were putting in a new hard drive with the MV. It'll probably try to load up and hit my hard drive, and there is a hard drive in there, so we'll see. Loading, loading, loading. Ah, this error occurred. So when you normally see that message, it's like you got a brand new hard drive. Uh, you got to hit F5 to create a new project. It's kind of hard to do this with just one hand, so. Let's see if I can do this. I'm trying to hold the NV in the camera at the same time. Alright, so. Even though that came up, I mean the MV still has its operating system on it, so pretty much what I'm gonna have to do is go and format this uh, card like it's an actual uh, hard drive. All right, so now I gotta format it. Um, I'm gonna want to go into this utility screen, which is uh, you know this USB button. that this utility option which is number two yeah, and, uh, and it should show this car should show up just like a hard drive hard disk no name of course there's no label on it uh, and it's 1.86 which is a two gigabyte card which that's exactly what it should show up so you figure these um drives or parts static hard drives memory sticks whatever no moving parts so you figure um, they come down in price so you know that, that's what I'm I'm focusing on and then I'm gonna format this card format yeah. oh, I got a hard drive protect hard drive format protect one so you gotta turn it off Alright, so now I got it hooked up to the VGA. Um, yeah, I gotta go to Global or wherever that is and uh, take the hard drive for uh, protect all. It's probably looking blurry to you guys, but you, know, you just gotta go take the hard drive to protect all. So we got system, uh, Global, hard drive format, protect. Oh. 